YouTube, how we doing? Monday edition here on the Player Pops Avant YouTube free play and our first lineup construction day for Stat Hero. Um, yeah, so if you guys were following me over on Twitter, you saw I had the announcement for Stat Hero. That is a huge announcement for me and this channel. Um, it's one of my, um, like I said, favorite ones to play, and I'm actually going to lock in my lineup um, with you guys today. Um, love it. I, I just used the promo code myself, uh, put in $50, um, another 50 bucks the first time using this promo code, and I got 25 back right on there. So we'll be riding this lineup, uh, a six-person lineup. Um, I will be putting my $50 where my mouth is, right? So first off, let's start out with our play of the day for betting. Um, we are going to actually roll with the Cincinnati Reds. Team total over five, minus 120. Um, I love this spot. I love this spot for the Reds at home versus a lefty, Justin Steele. Um, Steele, as a starter, has an 8.58 fit, which is absolutely awful. When I'm trying to take a starter or take a pitcher, I'm looking for that fit to be as low as possible. Um, and obviously, 8.58 is not great. Uh, when you guys look at this, um, his lines and his numbers, make sure you are looking at him as a starter. Um, as a reliever, he was fantastic. Um, but as a reliever, he has something to be desired. Um, first time through the order, he is very good, like most relievers. And when he gets to that second time through the order, which is what's going to suck for him as a starter, um, his, his number second time through the order is a 444 batting average against. So that is terrible. Um, like I said, as a starter, he has an 8.58 FIP. But as a starter second time through the lineup, he has an 18.78 FIP. Awful, awful, awful. Um, in the month of August, the Cubs games, um, their opponents has hit this in um, nine wins, four losses, and one tie. Um, and I, I see that as a reason um, with the bullpen, right? You got rid of Chafin to the A's. You got rid of Kimbrel to the White Sox. Those are your two back-end guys. Um, they are really struggling to hold that up. And this is not the team that you want to be struggling against. This is a game that I love for runs. Um, you're out in Cincinnati. Um, but the thing is, is I don't want to go against Wade Miley. I like Wade Miley too much. He's won me a lot of money. But the, the pen for the Cincinnati team, the Reds, has been their downfall, but they did pick up um, one of my favorite Yankee pitchers in Luis Sessa. Um, he's done very, very, very well for them. And um, I watched their game yesterday against the Phillies, and Lorenzen shut it down, and Lucas Sims is back too. So do like the Reds in this game. I believe they are minus 200 chalk, and I don't like that price, but I do like them to score some runs today against Justin Steele. Um, and for the um, – Reds, they have actually hit this number in four of five themselves. Um, they hit 261 against lefties, and I see this as a bullpen game, guys. I don't see Steele getting much more than three innings in here. Um, and if you're going to give me five to six innings of this Chicago bullpen, I like five runs here a lot. I will be taking that as a one-unit play here. Um, so, yeah, I really like this spot, and I think we're going to be making some money today. So – Without further ado, I will be doing um, my stat hero play here, and I will show you guys that right now. So let's get to it. I will be popping over to my stat hero here, and I, like I said, I am in El Nino's Revenge, El Nino being the nickname for Fernando Tatis Jr. This is the six-person lineup here for stat hero. Um, again, I will show you guys here. Um, I will show you that they have a two-bagger. They have a DJ's party, and they have El Nino's Revenge. Um, all of these lineups are great, um, but I am going to go with the big one today just so I can show, kind of show you guys what this has to offer here. Um, so, yeah, let me pull this up for you. First off. You guys know I like the Reds tonight. I am actually rolling with Fernando Tatis Jr.'s uh, and the MVP spot for them. I will be rolling with one of my dudes, 
Nick Cassianos as my MVP here. Um, Cassianos, an 11.43 OPS at home this year, um, 430 batting average on balls in play, and a 470 Woba at home. Um, at home versus lefties, he has a 201 WRC plus, which is absolutely crazy. Um, one of those lines that just just pops out at you as absolutely insane. One of those um, numbers that you really, really don't see much, um, that numbers that high there. So he is going to be my MVP there um, against Justin Steele. So I am heavy on the Reds today. Number two, we are going to roll with Coors Field going to Trevor Story. Um, Trevor Story here. Um, his strikeout rate is much, much lower at home. That's been his biggest issue. Um, he's around a 27% on the road this year. Only 19% um, in the friendly confines of Coors Field. Um, he has a 146 WRC plus and a 414 Woba um, at home versus lefties this year. And has a 354 batting average at Coors Field with a 973 OPS which means I'm going to see some power here. Um, and I really like that in this spot. Um, if you guys are new to Stat Hero uh, singles, or I, I can just pull up here. I will just show you guys the scoring um, for our MLB contests here. Um, this is where you're going to get your points, three points for a single, five points for a double, eight for triple, 10 for a home run, two for RBI. So I am really looking forward to, to seeing some balls um, carry out of here, right? We're trying to get, uh, we are really, really trying to get um, some power here, right? Power is going to get us some big time points here. And that is what we are looking for here. So let me pull this back up and get us to our number three spot today. Number three is going to be my boy, CJ Crone. Um, CJ Crone, another guy in Coors Field today. Um, CJ Crone is honestly one of the most underrated hitters in the MLB. Um, his numbers at home are crazy. 18.5 strikeout rate, very low. Um, an 1194 OPS, which is crazy against lefties at home this year. And at, at home overall, he's at a 1062 OPS. Um, I absolutely love this spot. I love his strikeout all right not strikeout i love his home run prop i'm seeing it at 295 i think that is crazy i will be sprinkling that today on my own um i probably will throw that in vip as well because that number is just way off um going against ryan weathers who has struggled since coming back um, from that injury will be hammering that play personally and i probably will post it in vip today number four we're going to roll with Chris Taylor at home versus Steven Brault. Um, Taylor has a 979 OPS at home. Um, 520 batting average on balls in play here. Um, only 10% soft contact at home against lefties. 70% um, of the balls that he hits is either a line driver in the air. Um, in 75 degree weather in Dodger Stadium today against a lefty and Steven Brault. I like that, especially with the wind blowing out. I think we see some home runs. I see that ballpark playing small tonight um, for the Pirates and Dodgers game. And that actually leads me into play number five. We are rolling with Will Smith. Will Smith here has been fantastic. Home run in three straight games. And I really like this spot. Plus 400 on his home run prop. He has hit that in three straight games. Um, he's tearing it up right now. Um, you're seeing a 164 WRC plus at home and a 408 um, on base percentage, which is huge. Walks give us two points as well, as well as hit by pitches. And at home, you're seeing a 976 OPS. Um, a lot of power here. 976 OPS at home is crazy. Very good for us. Um, for a spot that I think he, sh he should be worth a lot more money. So we are to our last spot. We did spend a good amount of money here, but I have to, a spot here. Jose Altuve, absolutely disrespectful here at 9,100. Um, he's only 9,000 um, on the year against righties. He has an 855 OPS overall and a 136 WRC plus this year. 
I really like this spot for him um, tonight. I just think that line that line is just way, way too low. Um, so, yeah, I will be throwing 50 on this lineup. Um, if a player gets ruled out, um, I will not be doing insurance. I think we are good to go. I confirmed my entry. Oh, that is weird. Why is that not letting me do that? Let's try it again. Let's go 25. Let's go. Mm, nope. Confirm my entry. And I have joined El Nino's Revenge. I will be playing that one tonight. Um, again, if you guys want to use Stat Hero, very easy to do. Make sure you use the code, promo code PPS here, and that will show you. Um, as you can see, I put in uh, my money there and got a 50%. Um, I got a 50% deposit match on that there. I love that lineup. Again, here's a little rundown for my six-man lineup. MVP, Cassianos at 11-2. Trevor Story, 10-5. CJ Crone, 9,900. Chris Taylor, 9,800. Will Smith, nine. And I mistyped this one. Um, Jose Altuve is at 9,100 tonight. So really like the spot, guys. Um, I will be, as you guys can see, I did play that line myself. Um, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited for our first stat hero line here. And I will be sure to track my wins and losses on the year. I'm around 65% over there on stat hero. So I am looking forward to making you guys money. Um, make sure um, that you guys use um, the promo code if you guys go over there. Um, that is um, the promo code for that is PPS, and that will get you a 50% deposit match um, over there, up to $250. Um, so make sure you do that. Again, let's cash our stat hero, and I am doubling down on the Reds with my MVP, Nick Castellanos, and the Reds team total over five, minus 120. One unit play over here. So make sure you guys go jump on that. Go cash in with me and let's do this thing. Make sure we cash in our first stat hero lineup of the channel here. Let's do it, guys, and have a great rest of your night.